What do you mean by what could have caused the denial? What do you mean? Is Vibes Cartel's arrogance keeping him behind bars? Where that shot the f Fling with the blood, phone, use a blood, idiot or what? What do you do? A chat and a go on like your eye. Reggae Sumpfest boss responds to Bounty Killer's rejection. And Chanel Muir's ex fiance denies stealing her money. Viewers and subscribers, welcome. It's Levels with Kishima, your space for all things entertainment. Get ready for your latest and hottest e-news reviews, interviews, and so much more. Thank you all for subscribing. And if it's your first time checking in, remember to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. But first, a quick sound check with Olaf Blackwood. This song titled Drop Shade was produced by Shaggy for Ranch Entertainment. Each and every week, it's sound check, giving you the next gen in dancehall and reggae. Check, check, check. We not have no time for the he says, she says, stay in my own damn lane like TJ. Free right now! Free right From shedding tears to venting on social media or chanting free world boss outside the courthouse, Gaza fans continue to express their disappointment that Vibes Cartel's bail was not granted. Why you feel that cartel not coming out, Auntie? No, he's supposed to come out now. He loots up for shame already. And all of us are sinners. And all of us have sin pushing short of the glory of God. And if you don't have anything, they are a liar. So you listen to cartel music, Auntie? I don't have no radio. So I just... Let's sing one cartel song. I can't sing. But... Time. So up to the time. And we have to all have conscience and have mercy upon it. But is it the arrogance of Vibes Cartel and his legal team that is keeping him or them behind bars? Me own have a reason. We see Vibes Cartel as one of our most decorated artists. The justice system does not see Vibes Cartel as a decorated artist. They do not give a f We have to understand that and uh, help Vibes Cartel to overcome what I want. What I do not help the DJ, I'm tired for telling you. You cannot say you love the artist and overreact and do what be a foolishness. Them want to keep Vibes Cartel in a jail. The justice system is Vibes Cartel's biggest enemy. Uno stop, look for pity and pardon from the justice system. They are not going to do it. You have to understand that, you know. That's why sometimes I say that the behavior of him liar and the behavior of whosoever, whether him or whosoever angling page, it needs to stop. You have to understand what the justice system is. The judge, the liar, the clerk of court, the police, them work for the crown. What is the crown? The same privy council. We can't tell God to fit help. I them I keep him in a prison. That's why when them do what them do, what they're telling us, so them take the DJ for idiot. The whole owner jump up, put on your pussy or this way. I chew your set gully when it's not sense. When you just dunce. And sometimes I'm not about to argue with them and just make them diss me up and say anything when I say because when it's stupid. And you see, because I know who they behind bars. I know who I feel it. I know who I suffer. 
Can nobody can tell me nothing. Nobody at jail. Not happy like when them there road. You're suffering. Even for lack of association. Can't see your kids. Can't whole heap of thing. Whole heap of problem. It uncomfortable. Them decide when they piss when they sh. What I'm here, man. When the privy council do what them do, I'm telling them, say them take cartel for one big idiot. Look, 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 look how the justice system has shown you, say. Them tough. And them not like nobody. You know, see Paula Lewin say, me step back. I'm going easy. Mama, come up front. And put somebody else in our space. It doesn't make a difference. I see him work them, I do. So with our Paula Lewin, our Angela Burke, our Candy Wow, our Mackerel, it not. Why your work? What is your job? If you keep Vibes Cartel in a prison. So when a new person here come, them are going to see them are worse. You see, when a new person come, the new person are trying to make a mark. So the new person could have the worse than Paula Halloween. So when they obey Paula Halloween, right? And she get a problem and they move her. The new person, where you know, obey you know, I try to make a mark. Remember, Paula Halloween have her stripe, them already. The new person here want even one stripe. And a vibes cartel this. If the person has seen vibes cartel, them ratings gone to the sky in a government. The crown are gonna look upon them different. Like Futa Hype, Crime Minister shares a similar theory. No long me there, I want to tell him, say, brother, shut the fuck up. Fling with the blood phone, use a blood idiot or what? What you are do? A chat and go on like you hype. Like you want to hype on these people. The Paul are loyaling on them, like you don't know, says make you live. Come on, Vibes Cartel, bro. They will go up just for that, what you do, bro. And that's exactly why you're still in there. They're showing you that list. Now I'm to the fool, yeah. <laughs> I'm to the bowl, yeah. You think nobody from England are going to come down here, so come physically do nothing once again. No one will physically or try and do anything in this case. That is it. Oh God no, I feel all the way to people, big woman thing. You know, long my daddy I watch him, I will want to say something, but I know them not really into me you now through the bag of race, so I just love it. I want to say, brother, we are, we are do that. Shut up, you know, you know, say, Paula Louis, them, we, we go. You give her an inch, you take a mile for try to go up. Eh? If the last thing she do before she lose for her position as BPP or whatever, if it's one thing she would do is make sure say yo don't come out. You don't know that. I don't see the man every day at this this at me. I say Jesus Christ, bro, go apologize to her, go, go beg and ball to her. I say you love prison, you want you rather stay in this with be a man lock up. But hold up, TVJ's Dion Jackson Miller has the legal breakdown. I'm actually waiting to get a written copy of the judgment because she gave quite a, a detailed breakdown of her reasons. As you said, in short, Cartel and his co-accused will not be released before the Court of Appeal has decided whether there is going to be a retrial or not. So the, the judge looked at a number of issues. She started out by looking at the issue as to whether the decision of the Privy Council that their convictions had been quashed and that the Court of Appeal was to decide on a retrial, did that translate into an order for them to be released. And she, she decided that that did not, in fact, so translate. She looked at whether or not the appeal had been determined, and her decision was no, the appeal has not finished. It is not going to be finished until the Court of Appeal makes its final decision. Since the appeal has not been determined, therefore, she said that there, the men are, in fact, being held lawfully in custody because the Commissioner of Corrections has not received any order from any court to release them. She looked at the issue of whether the charges remain and decided that, yes, the charges are still valid. So the men are still charged. Having looked at that, she then looked at whether, in fact, they would be eligible for bail. So she looked at the new Bail Act, and she looked at the fact that the Bail Act says that to be eligible for bail, 
while you are waiting for your appeal to be decided, you would have to have been on bail before you were convicted. These men were not on bail before convicted. She also pointed to another provision in the Bail Act that says that people who have been convicted for murder are in any case not in the category of people who could be considered for bail pending appeal. So as a result, they wouldn't be eligible for bail. She then looked at the fact that this was a habeas corpus application. Habeas corpus literally means bring the body, but bring the body before the court. It's usually used in circumstances where people are being unlawfully detained. And she said a habeas corpus application like this can't be used to circumvent the proper processes of the court. And that in this particular case, the only court who can make a decision at this time in relation to the liberty of these men is the Court of Appeal because that is where the matter now is. So in short, Milton, to, to um, end as we began, no, the men, Cartel and his court case are not going to be released before the decision of the Court of Appeal as to whether they should be retried or not. Vibes Cartel's lawyer, Isaac Buchanan, who doesn't seem to have the same energy, is now pointing out that in November last year, amendments were made to the Bail Act. Justice Thomas um, puts out her judgment on the habeas corpus. Um, she did find that there was no lacuna in the law because naturally um, the parliament and the senate they amended the law in november 2023 this is after the date was set for vibes cartel hearing and changed the bail act and the bail act now um comes into effect says you can't get bail if you never got bail before um you can't get bail while you're on appeal waiting on your appeal or as as the judge says the clear language the determination of your appeal um in essence um one of the things and i'm when you're trying to appreciate law one of the things that jumped out at me was when the judge um said that the privy council must have known that the legislation was amended and as a result would not have made an order to keep them detained. So the absence of the order would be as a result of the Jamaica legislators contemplating that um, somebody who could commit murder should not get bail and should remain. Despite his client still sitting in a cell, Isat believes the judge handled the situation well. What I will say is it's the law of the land and we simply have to go to June 10th to determine the issue of retrial and unfortunately Mr. Palmer and others will have to wait until that time um, and a determination. So when June 4th comes, let me tell you now, so nobody run me down and chase me to my car and all of that. When the 14th of June come, it is the court that has the power to say, I'll think about it or deals with, deal with it and consider liberty as according to Justice Thomas. It is that court that has the determination of liberty, even though the, the parliament would have legislated in November 2023 that they have no jurisdiction to offer bail in the circumstances. And so the liberty of the men are not in limbo, it's not a lacuna, and so what that the conviction is quashed, they're still, a, they're still charged for murder, and that's how law is in Jamaica. So we have to deal with it or do what we always do when litigants are dissatisfied, they appeal because the process of justice goes all the way to the Privy Council. If you're dissatisfied at the first instance, the Court of Appeal, and then there. So we, we will see. If my instructions take me all the way to the Privy Council, that is what will have to happen. Um, I, did, I did find that her re, she, she took, a lot of thought to it in the short space of time and the judge ought to be commended for even um, entertaining the, 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 the habeas corpus and f coming to some ruling and giving us ruling expeditiously. Cartel have no chilling, you know? 
just moments after the decision, of course, he posted to social media or the person handling his page posted to social media, cartel rocking a burgundy suit with the caption, St. Catherine South, vote for Adija Palmer as your new member of parliament 2025. Oh, I did really say. Come June 10, the courts will begin hearing arguments in the matter of a retrial for Vibes Cartel and his co-accused. Share your thoughts in the comments. Make we talk about it. You don't see me exclusive. Chanel Muir's ex fiance says he did not steal her money. I just want to know if you believe in her youth. You get what I say? We don't know about no money at all. We get thief. And we're not afraid to jump on them things. If you make no one need a car. No, that's a normal pre, you know. Remember, you know, anybody can say anything. You understand? And watch you now. If me and uh, leave, have a problem, I don't need to forward by your second chatter bag thing. Like, no, I sound Batman style that. Believe. Like, I don't need to go and chat something. So a real nigga them, when you know no man have no, no, no little thing, and a girl them when you know no man have anything, let me tell you no. You know no jump on the media. You know no have to go up on the media with some style and just go and hold on your own. See me? If you know I left, you know go and you know just left him, if you know I left the girl just do the same. You know no I pray. Late last month, top gal Chanel Muir hinted that she was no longer engaged, spilling the tea on Instagram with a story and accused her partner of betrayal. Ladies, you have to be careful of who you call your man, she posted, alleging that he took $1.7 million from her. Hold up. I mean, is this a post for social media or a report for the police? Anyhow... The Yamabella hitmaker first went public with their romance in March 2023. And here's what I'll say. I don't know Chanel Muir or her ex-fiancé or even who is telling the truth or are lying. But Chanel does seem to attract drama or drama keeps following her. First, she had an issue with her manager, then her mom and now her ex. I mean, at some point, you know, maybe it's time for a bit of self-reflection but hey, what do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Just days after Bounty Killer turned down Reggae Sumfest bid to honor him this year, Sumfest boss Joseph Bogdanovich is breaking his silence. Joe says it's all business. Keeping it classy, Joe told World Music Views, the reason why is because when it comes to business, people just don't get the right understanding of the business. That's basically all it is. So while we won't attempt to decode Joe's cryptic message, on Wednesday, Bounty Killer announced that he would not be participating in Reggae Song Fest this year due to circumstances beyond his control. This led to some fest cancelling a scheduled tribute for the five-star general. But remember in 2022 when Aishana dissed Bounty Killer during her performance, doing all sorts of antics with a cardboard cutout of him, Bounty was upset and some fest issued an official apology. So do you think a well-deserved accolade like this should be snubbed by Bounty Killer? Hit up the comments and let me know your thoughts. That's you know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to never miss a second or frame of levels with me, Kishima. Got any burning questions or suggestions for future content? Drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Until next time, stay entertained and keep leveling up.